What's going on guys, it's Caleb, and I wanted to be a little formal here, a little one-on-one -on -one as to what the heck has been going on before we hop into this video. So yeah, what's been going on with me? Well, I'm back as you can see. I said that in the last video too. I don't know how in the heck I was able to upload a video last month with everything that's going on, but I was able to do it. I finished college, that's where I've been. And if you've gone to college and you finished it, you know at the very end it's very stressful, but at the same time it's actually very fun. So I just got my degree in business administration with, and management with economics. It's been really hard, I had to say. It's been really hard. Was it worth it? I don't want to admit yet. Maybe? But I'm done. And now I have all this free time. And I get to put it back into the videos, at least for right now. And which is really nice, especially this video. I mean, this video, I was very excited for it. And I'm, I'm still am. I'm very excited for you guys to see this. It's been done for a while now, but I've just been looking for the time to be able to sit down one on one because this, this video needed this moment right here for you and me, the viewer, to be talking back and forth as to where the heck I'm going. Because since I've been gone, I've gone from, hold on. I've gone from 230 subscribers to 276 uh, what thank you <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go ahead and move on to this video that's that's an update as to where I've been very short little snippet before we go into the main film here and yeah guys thank you so much for sticking by I hope I really hope you enjoyed this video this was a big deal to me the moment I knew Hudson got this truck I wanted to put my hands on it I wanted to get this thing brand new again and I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I do so go ahead hit that like button go ahead and follow or well is it follow on youtube right subscribe go ahead and subscribe there you go hit that notification bell so that way you know every time i upload back to weekly uploads here and uh hope you guys enjoy the show What's going on guys, it's Caleb, and today I have one heck of a detail for you. This late 90s model Toyota Tacoma is owned by my dear friend Hudson Barnes, and he also does YouTube, and his name is Hudson B on YouTube, I will link him down below. This thing needed some love, man, from the minute he got it, I had my eyes set on it, and he said that, yeah, man, I'm gonna let you go ahead and revive this thing, and that's exactly what we did. Started off with doing the wheels and the wheel wells and moving to a pre-treatment of the paint, and then we went ahead and washed it, decontaminated, did a two-stage paint correction, both cutting and polishing, then we put on a paint sealant with a paint polymer sealant and man did this thing turn out gorgeous. Definitely a night and day difference from how it was when I got it to how it was when Hudson came back and picked it up. So without further ado, there's a little overview of everything that's going to happen in this video. So if you could please leave me a like on this video. I worked really hard on this one and I think you guys are going to like it a lot. And if you like this sort of content, go ahead and press subscribe and ring that bell as well. That way you know every single time I upload a video. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and finish these floor mats so they can dry in the sun and move on to the wheels. Alright, let's take a couple moments here to uh, talk about these muddied up wheels, tires, wheel wells, it's... <laughs> what a mess. So yeah, they're in quite the condition, and we're going to go ahead and use my hand pump foam sprayer. It does have a 4 to 1 dilution of PNS Brake Buster in there, as well as 2 ounces or so of super clean degreaser just for that extra cleaning power. I know these things look destroyed right now, but it actually turned out pretty good, and I don't think I've had this much mud in my driveway before. I took maybe 30 minutes in between doing the wheels and going to the body just to spray off my driveway. It was pretty bad.
Now we're going to move on to pre-rinsing the exterior. As you can see, and I said it before too, this thing was muddied up. And Hudson even told me before I even got the truck, hey man, I got this thing ready for you to detail. And there's no doubt he did. I mean, look at this thing. There's mud everywhere. Which is totally okay, because for me, it's really enjoyable to do. And when you get it on camera to show to people like you guys, you guys love it too. So it works out either way. But with it being as muddy and dirty as it is, that tells me that before we do anything, I'm going to be very delicate with the paint because there's a few spots that are kind of iffy, but then I'm also going to have to use a pre-treatment. And so that's exactly what I did. You're going to see after we get done washing the car down with the pressure washer that I'm taking my hand pump foam sprayer and I'm putting super clean degreaser in it. And it's going to be diluted two to one. And we're going to spray it directly on the surface and then go through and brush it down like I always do with a boar's hair detail brush. What we're going to go ahead and do right now is focus on pre-treating the paint. Now, what do I mean by that? Usually, there's other ways of doing it by using a foam cannon, as you've seen me use before in the past. But in this specific situation, I'm using another hand pump foam sprayer with super clean degreaser inside of it, diluted two to one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to foam it across the whole entire surface. And after we do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my paint dedicated boar's hair detail brush and brush all the hard to get areas just to make sure everything on the outside, every little nook and cranny is taken care of without an issue. A pre-treatment like this with a hardcore degreaser also helps me with making sure that if there is anything left on the paint, like for example when Hudson first got it, he washed it, if there was any kind of wax infused in that soap or anything really, it would be gone pretty much. This is going to destroy that and make sure it's a clean slate surface. A little different than usual, it's not a foam cannon, but hey, if you guys really want to know what happened here is uh, I offered him my car. It's like, hey, you know, take my car if you need it while I have your truck, no problem. He did, he took it to the archery range if you saw his video my foam cannon was in that car <laughs> So I have, I really had to try to do something here. I mean, either way, I have one heck of an arsenal of detailing supplies. I had another foam cannon as well that I could have used, but I wanted to use this because it was pretty fun. And at the end of the day, it worked out fabulously.
Now because of the truck, you already know I gotta clean the bed of the truck, and that's exactly what we did. So I took my hand pump foam sprayer, the same one I used as a pre-treatment, just a degreaser. I sprayed it through the whole bed of the truck, and then I took my big stiff tire brush and I scrubbed every single inch of this bed. Now, two things I need to cover here, the foot situation and the glove situation. Usually when you're handling degreasers and whatnot, you want to use black nitrite gloves or something equivalent to that, and I just didn't have any. And I mean, I tried too. Once I noticed that was out, I went to the auto parts store, that's literally up the street and they were sold out of the black knight tri gloves i was like oh, dang i looked on amazon and it was like five to seven days shipping for the ones i was looking at and it was like man i'm not gonna get these in time so i had to use my bare hands which is not the worst case scenario it's kind of all right but you do want to have protection and as for the foot situation my feet were just absolutely soaked and it was really hot outside it just it felt so gross i had to take my shoes off and i ended up having a good time either way then after we finished cleaning out the bed of the truck we went ahead and dried off the whole vehicle and you're gonna see me use a shop vac to blow all the water out of the little nooks that I can't get dried right away and that is a shop vac I specifically use for blowing stuff out you just take the nozzle put it on the back end of it and blow everything out it's a nice alternative if you don't have an air compressor but just make sure it hasn't really been used like you don't want to This is when we get into the fun part that just changes the whole personality of this vehicle. We're moving into paint correction, and as for this truck, it's going to get a two-stage paint correction. We're looking at compounding the entire vehicle, and then we're going to go ahead and polish the entire vehicle. Just to let you guys know what kind of stuff I am using, as for my dual action polisher, it's a relatively cheap one that's really good for beginners, but I've had it since I've learned how to even do polishing, and it still holds up to my standards, as well as just what is necessary for polishing. Even still, the dual action polisher is a Max Shine M8S and it works awesome. I'm using a 5 inch backing plate with Meguiar's microfiber set. Now what I mean by set is I'm using their microfiber polishing pads and I'm using their microfiber polish and compound. I've tried a bunch of different products and I mean when it comes to doing compounding and polishing, I've, I've fallen in love with these products. I mean these products by Meguiar, they really got it figured out because it works so good. And for the price point of it, you really can't beat it. Now as for one step, you know I switched it up. A use Sonax Perfect Finish for anyone who wants to know, but other than that, sticking to this method of using microfiber polishing pads as well as the compound and polish from Meguiar's, it really makes every vehicle turn out to look amazing. And one of the reasons why I love it so much is literally any paint I have touched with this combination of products, it has done great. Whether it was hard paint or if it was really soft paint, it still does the job just as equally, which at least in my experience is pretty hard to come across. And if you're interested in any of these products, I will have them linked down below in the description if you're just getting into polishing i really recommend this dual action polisher because of how great it is how easy it is to use and it really can up your detailing game at the end of the day
whenever I first saw this vehicle, I never thought it would end up looking this good, but now that it's been compounded, man, it really has just revived this exterior. And as you're seeing here, the time lapse, this is me going through and polishing everything that's been compounded. That way it can refine it and make it look even more glossier. Once I'm done polishing though, I'm going to go ahead and take an IPA mix. I use Car Pro's eraser. It's an isopropic alcohol spray. I go ahead and spray down the entire surface, wipe it all up. That way there's no oils or grease or anything left over from the paint correction that would get in the way of a coating bonding with the surface of the exterior. But before I do any kind of coating stuff, while it's still daylight outside, I want to go ahead and put the exterior trim on as well as the tire dressing. As you can see, it turned night fairly quickly here, and I went ahead and moved the truck into my garage and started wiping it down with the IPA from CarPro. Now, because of it being dark and the crappy lighting I have in my garage, I couldn't get any good footage of me putting the coating on the truck itself, which is sad, but you know, at the end of the day, this truck turned out ugh, just phenomenal, honestly. After watching this video back after I've edited it and now it being uploaded, I mean, really, it the transformation is night and day. This truck ends up now looking absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, that's really all I have for you guys in this video, other than the cinematic footage that's coming up to show you the before and after. So seriously guys, I am back, and I thank you so much for you spending time with me, and if you could, please leave a like on that video to show me that you enjoyed it, and if you liked it enough, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, that way you know every single time I upload. And with that being said, I'll leave you with the cinematic footage. Guys, thank you so much for spending time with me, and I hope to see you again next week.